Hi, welcome to Just Answering Questions with WapTech. Uh, here we go. Um, WapTech, I said you was probably pretty stupid, but I'm only trying to make my point that the media lights, lies apparently, and that's pretty much undisputed. I think that they all spin doctorate, all of them, all media lies too. So I don't see an advantage one way or another. I just want accountability and I want people fired when they get caught lying. I guess people can decide what they deem more sacred. What they want to believe or need to believe as opposed to what is actually happening. Oh my what a mess. I'm going to bed. Good night. And then later on. Okay, so do we have to... What do we do when we know for a fact the mainstream news outlets have lied and have admitted to doing so? NBC, like NBC, it makes you question everything they tell you. Yes, but you don't assume they're lying all the time. A lie takes more than two to lie. Um, in this case especially, we're talking about... <clears throat> you're making, you can't do an all or nothing judgment on it. The individuals involved should be called out and fired sacked, as they say in Britain. If they're going to lie about stupid stuff, why wouldn't they lie about bigger stuff? Because there's an actual penalty, penalty for lying about big stuff. The big lie is practiced as propaganda. The little lie is, in some cases, just making a mistake. You have to evaluate it that way. And you have to trust that other people are going to, you're going to have to decide other people can decide this. Making a stupid mistake is a stupid mistake. The one I don't like, or a good example, Las Vegas. Someone playing back the background audio on a video they were showing on the screen while they're talking to somebody on the phone caused confusion. They should have said immediately, uh, I'm sorry, where we left the audio on from the video we're showing on screen. Oh, I'm sorry, it made bullet sounds. Are you being fired upon? No, okay. And then immediately someone should have, you will mute the video or you're fired, Fred. And Fred should have been fired anyway. That's a mistake. That's a stupid mistake. I won't even bring up, oh look at this document on our screen. Let's zoom in dynamically with a camera doing this kind of crap. I go after CNN and all the other pop bullshit versions of news that are posted out there. Now I sound so indignant right now, actually I'm probably sounding a little bit ignorant, but whatever. No you're not. Next. <coughs> not mass shooting related. related. This is not the worst thing they could have lied about, obviously, but there have been other instances. What particular news agency, in fact, some people have been fired. I'm simply saying if somebody lies about one thing, they will lie about other things. Not necessarily. Some people only lie about certain levels of stuff or certain political motivations. Some people will not lie about certain things. That it's the mo You have to look at it that way. I, I do that with everybody. Some people, uh, uh, some YouTubers for instance, only lie about certain things because they're sensitive about one stupid subject. The rest of the time they're perfectly useful. Alex Jones used to be a useful source for information. His opinion was crap, but he would give you the information. Now he doesn't do either. He just, he just screams. The freaking media sensationalizes everything. Yes. I'm pretty sure they exaggerate and leave things out because it's TV. Yes, they do. Same complaint I have. The reason I don't do a debunking of mainstream media is I would literally have nothing up here but thousands of videos pointing out every stupid mistake. I have to pick my battles, and it's easier to go after YouTubers because there's just there's fewer of them doing this. There's more shit, but there's only a few of them doing it. Or is it just the same idiot? And uh, let's see. I. I base my opinion of the media on the fact that they have admitted to falsifying stories. If they admit to falsifying the stories, that's better than people who constantly lie and never admit it. They need to call themselves out once a year. We're going to do an evaluation and retraction of stories that we found out we were wrong about, and in some cases, people who were fired for lying. That's what they should do. A little crow. You shouldn't punish them for that. <clears throat> They should be held accountable for that. Yes, I agree. Outlets like NBC, you don't even bring it up. They all need to hold themselves to highest standard of journalism. No, they have to hold each other. I call out, and lots of other people call out Fox for just flat out being a propaganda source. They also tell the truth. Uh, MSNBC and CNN, good God. I mean, it's just annoying. But again, I'm going after people who are falsifying facts. That's easier. I go for low-hanging fruit because the rest of this manipulation stuff is too deep. 
the, then they come back with real information, experts, documents, witnesses. Whatever they conveniently left out the first time will include the second time around. Sometimes that's just because they're going for a lead story to try to get the views, but they don't know the answers. Remember that. Like Lombardo in Vegas. He just said whatever came out of his butt or whatever they thought was going on. He shouldn't have done any of those interviews. He should have just said, we don't know what happened. This is a, this is a catastrophe. I'm not going to give you any assertions or anything you can quote today because we don't know the answers. All we know is what we found. I'm going to give you the information straight and it'll probably be wrong. And you're just going to have to live with that because reality isn't conveniently wrapped up in a bow. If every cop and every politician said that over and over again, it would beat down this fantasy universe that we've all been grown up to live in. Everything gets wound up within one sitcom half hour. No, it doesn't. That's the accountability that we should hold ourselves to. We have been tricked into believing that things are just so stories. They are not. Cannabis doesn't cure cancer. It might cure too. That's fantastic. But it doesn't cure just all cancers. <sighs> they will put out a story that they don't have all the info on and they may, or they may have all in, but there's a version of the story that get them views, so they put that at first. Thank you. Forgive me for spelling errors and didn't you're just screaming the same thing I and everybody else is screaming. Well, welcome to the real world Neo. And thank you for posting. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. And don't take any wooden reality.